Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is 28, and we are wrapping up the lessons on opportunities by diving into the All Opportunities uh, tab or menu, if you will, within the Opportunities applet or submenu. So if we get into Opportunities here, our handshake on the left-hand side, the majority of the time that I've spent training you uh, this past week or so in opportunities, we've been in the pipeline view, if you will. So you can see your entire pipeline. You can kind of see your metrics down here at the bottom. However, if you click on this third tab, or maybe it's just your second, depending on whether you're a team or not, you're going to see all opportunities here at the top. If you click on all opportunities, your view changes, as you can see, from a pipeline view to more of a list view. And obviously we can see significantly more data in this style of view. So it's kind of nice if you're looking to, one, see more data. If you want to organize this list, you can do it in a multitude of ways. So I can actually sort by name column. I can sort by the type of opportunity. So I can see all of my tenants, all of my listings, all of my buyers. If I had landlords, I'd be able to see those as well. I can sort by phase, so I can see what do I have under contract, what's in cultivate, what's closed for the year. I can sort by commission, kind of see what's my largest commission, what was my smallest commission. I can also sort by closed dates. In addition, if I'm searching for a particular opportunity, I have the ability to search here and I can choose by address, by opportunity, by assignee, by contact. And then finally, I also have the ability to filter this list of opportunities. So if I click on filters, you'll see there's several opportunities here. So obviously, if I'm a member of more than one market center, I could select which market center opportunities I wanted to see. If I wanted to include my archived opportunities, I could do that by sliding this slider to the right. If I don't want to see them, I'll slide it back to the left. If I only want to view a particular opportunity type or maybe more than one opportunity, if I want to see just my listings and buyers but don't really want to see my tenants and landlords, I could just click those or vice versa. I could also just sort by opportunity phase. So I just want to see anything that has closed, right? Anything that's pending, et cetera. Uh, if I want to select a team, I can. Possibly I'm a rainmaker with multiple teams and expansion offices. I would have the ability to select which team I wanted to see there. In addition, I can sort for particular opportunities from a particular contact. So maybe you have an investor that you work with, or maybe it's a long time past client. You basically would select that client here and you would be able to see all of the opportunities that have been associated with that one particular client. This week we talked about opportunity tags. So we talked about things like tag trans, uh, transaction tags like REO, foreclosure, new construction. Uh, maybe they are a particular lead source that you wanna track the opportunities from. Um, in addition, you might put in tags for opportunities in particular neighborhoods. So you know how many closings you had in a particular neighborhood. You could sort this opportunity list or filter it by those tags that you had created as well. In addition, a few more, you have the ability to sort by owner. You have the ability to sort by assignee. You can see all of the um, opportunities that you have closed, that you have closed or that you have closing next month, closing this month, closing last month. You can scroll down this list and see you've got this year, last year, and then you can actually set a custom date. And you can do the same for when that um, opportunity was actually created. I wanna see how many opportunities we created in December, how many we did, right? So you could just put in a date range there for created. If you wanna clear any or all of your filters, all of them, you just click on clear all. Otherwise you could uncheck you know, the ones that have check boxes. Once you have filters selected, you would just click on apply and that's gonna take this all opportunity list and shrink it down based upon the filters that you have selected. So um, obviously as we continue to add more and more opportunities into our command database, there's a chance where we have 50, 100, 200. I mean, obviously I know some mega teams are closing thousands of transactions and those are just the ones that closed in any given year. So the ability to be able to use KW commands all opportunities tab underneath the all opportunity, or excuse me, the opportunity submenu, it's really gonna help take a massive amount of data and kind of shrink it down to a manageable amount so that I can track particular types of data, whether that's you know the type, the phase, the stage, the commission amount, close date, contacts, et cetera, 
uh, it makes it much simpler to do that. So that's pretty much a wrap for today and a wrap for opportunities. Uh, we are going to, I think we're going to have a wild card video or two over the next couple of days. And then we're going to dive into smart plans happening next. So look forward to that. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.